The last provincial budget cut deep for many organizations in Saskatchewan. Fast forward to today and the province's finance minister says things are back on track. It comes as the government gave a fiscal update. But as Wayne Mantika tells us, some say it's not as good as it sounds. On track means Saskatchewan could end its fiscal year $679 million short. That's the revised provincial deficit. Our budget is on track. Um, we haven't lost ground in this budget. In fact, it gained a little, shaving $6 million off the projected deficit. However, the province is giving up hope of a 3.5% civil service salary cut for now. And we're forecasting that we won't achieve it uh, within this fiscal year. It means a $250 million salary saving for 2017 has been crossed off the books covered by draining a contingency fund. The 300 million contingency was a bit of a shell game to begin with because if they honestly expected that 250 million wage cutbacks to realize uh, in, this, in this fiscal year, that just shows that they're not in touch with reality. It leaves union negotiators with some bargaining room. When we go talk to our members, not only are they saying they don't want to minus 3.5%, but it's getting to the point now where they're actually looking forward to some kind of a small wage increase. The government says it remains on track for a balanced budget by 2019. Three Saskatchewan party leadership candidates placed it in writing at a Saskatchewan Taxpayers Association signing ceremony. You know, we're, we took an awful lot of photos today. Uh, hopefully down the road, uh, if one of these folks uh, becomes premier, we'll be able to put up a billboard saying promise kept. There is no room left for surprises with the contingency funds no longer available. Any additional expenses or revenue shortfall may have to be met by the equivalent in cost savings. Wayne Manteca, CTV News, Regina.